at 9 edition, July 8, 1947. The Army Air Force has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Army officers say the missile, found sometime last week, has been inspected at Roswell, New Mexico, and sent to Wright Field, Ohio, for further inspection. Hey guys, it's Jamie back from MovieCon. We were just talking here with Alan Gilbreth, and he's one of our authors that come every year and talk to us. He brings a whole bunch of other authors with him. He's like the pipe piper of authors. <laughs> I think I think it's Master Cat Herder. <laughs> okay, that might be appropriate too. So tell us about your work. Okay, well I write the Galen Vampire series of nobody sparkles, everybody gets chewed on, <laughs> nobody blows up. Um, I believe that vampires are harder to kill than a cockroach in a microwave. They're mean, they're evil, they bite things. They look at you, and it's not a matter of if. It's when. It's when. You're a chicken McNugget. It's exactly. you're, you're picking a sauce. So, that's my vampires. I also write the Jack Lego Mystery Series and the Inspector Peel Mystery Series. Uh, so, they are uh, either a grumpy old detective in New Jersey who has to, like, catch demons... Or you have a lovely steampunk inspector back in jolly old Victorian England who has to solve crimes. Awesome. So is she hot? Is, is, the, steam, is the steampunk director a she? Uh, is it steampunk detective? No. Oh, frumpy. It's frumpy. Old, frumpy, male, oh, very, frumpy. you know. Oh, so, stodgy. You know. Okay, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have, he does have a very hot sidekick. He's got oh. a you know, lovely Scottish, you know, awesome. gentleman named, you know, yeah. named Duncan. <laughs> Who uh who solves all of his gadgetry problems? Gotcha. For him, so. He's got a grease monkey. He's got he's got a hot grease monkey. There you go. You know us, ladies. We yeah. love Scottish men. <laughs> we love a guy with an accent and a kilt. Yeah, yeah. It's something about being kilted. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Right. Kilts are awesome. <laughs> Every guy should own a kilt. I'm just saying. Uh no. <laughs> no, no, they shouldn't. No, no. Okay, there might be a few, but <laughs> the majority of them can do deal yeah, with it. That's true. That's true. So, which is your latest book? Okay, well, latest was the short story collection, okay. in which all of the award-winning stuff is in there, all the detective series stuff is in there, and a couple of bonus, a couple of bonus features. The bonus features. And hopefully by this fall, I will have the third book for the Galen Vampire series out, finished, and done. It'll be called Final Kiss. Okay, so it's a, it's a trilogy. Yeah, I hope. <laughs> right I now, hope. right now yeah, it's going to be a trilogy. I, yeah, I don't want it to be a Piers <laughs> Anthony trilogy, which is nine books. Yeah. You know, I, I I'll be happy at three. At three. And just after you hope after three, it quits talking to you and says, "Don't talk to me. Done. You're done." Well, you know, it's a matter of the fans. You know, oh, like, oh, and, well, what happened to Brenda? What happened to Brenda? You're like, oh. So <laughs> then you have to write another book. So. It, well, it's true. And then your trilogy has okay. six books in it now, and there you go. Yep, I can see that. There's a couple authors you're like. <laughs> They're like, I'm done. You're like, really? Really? Yeah. Are you really done? Because, you know, I really did. What about you? I can yeah, see. Yeah. yeah. I've yeah. done that Pe- lot. People do that. They get attra- They really get attached to the characters. We do. We do. Um, Us readers do. We do. We get attached. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, like when I wrote the Jack Lago mysteries, it was supposed to be a one-time story. And he yeah. got such a huge response. Everyone's like, well, what is he going to do next? What is he going to do next? He's like, well, uh. I, I guess he's gonna go catch a crocodile woman. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what's gonna happen next. That sounds yeah. like a great idea. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> next thing I know, I'm writing a story in Mystic, New Jersey, about a crocodile woman eating people. <laughs> and then, you know, so you know the next, you know, the next evil demon does, you know, uh, little fairies that stole jewels out of cases and you know, stuff. Cat they, they just they won't go away. Just <laughs> cat burglars that actually weren't cats. They were. Fairies. They were thieving fairies. Thieving fairies. They were thieving fairies. <laughs> they were robbing a museum blind. That's awesome. So, <laughs> so why don't you tell us advice for no, new authors or young authors and or authors oh, out there wow. that are just frustrated? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be 99.9% of all authors out there, frustrated authors. Uh, advice to get into the business, keep writing. Don't stop. Keep writing. Keep writing. Never throw your work away. Really, there's nothing you've written that can't be fixed. Learn, fix, edit. Edit, 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 edit. Um, that's really the secret. It's just you keep at it. Eventually, you will find the market for your, for your work. And that just makes it all work. Enjoy your convention and have a great day. Are they done? I think they might be done. Okay. Okay, so just keep work, keep writing. In other words, summarize that. We're going to keep writing and don't give up and don't throw anything away. Well, a lot of writers get frustrated. Like, oh, this will never work, this will never work. 
put it away, come back to it six months later, six weeks later, whatever. It's amazing how all those horrible errors have now been fixed magically while it was sitting in the closet. <laughs> because they're now not <laughs> yep. so bad. Because the fairy's in it. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. And they they turn around and you read through it and suddenly you go, oh, well, all I got to do is this, this, and this. And now my story's back on track. Okay. So I, I think just, I think people put too much pressure on themselves. And another thing, you you cannot write a book as a grown-up. Just to think like a kid? You, you cannot, because grown-ups have to finish something the first try. You don't have to start here and have to be done here. And a book just doesn't work like that. It's layers and layers and layers of going back and rewriting and looking at it again and fixing it. So dive in, take a deep breath, relax. It's just a book. And people get, oh, they get so tense. Just relax. It's just work to be on fun, it. right? No, writing really kind of sucks. It's not that much fun. <laughs> you know, what's writing is getting done, getting the letter back from a publisher saying we'll buy it, uh, getting a check. That's fun. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Uh, the, yeah, I tell people, look forward. Look forward to going to that next convention where you're trying to find your people. People are looking at you going, oh, I'll buy your book. Ah, that's the fun part. Writing? Eh, you do a lot of sitting. A lot of voices in your head telling you what to do. <laughs> then they want to give you medication for all the voices. I, I didn't, well, that's why you claim you're a writer. <laughs> that makes you see, all now, you see, you know, you could be sitting around a corner just mumbling to yourself, rocking back and forth, and if, if, if they'll walk by, and somebody go, oh, it's okay, it's okay. She's a writer. It's okay. <laughs> They're like that. It's okay. It's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. You can blame everything on being a writer. Good to know. Yeah. Well, I might need to change professions, yeah. guys. Yeah. 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 Now, you want a lot of fun? Take three or four writers out to dinner and see how the conversation can clear the tables away from you. <laughs> we might have to draw that. Yeah, there's nothing like sitting down to dinner with three mystery writers and discussing how would you kill somebody with this dinner? What would you put in it? How would you serve it? How, how long would they live? We have, uh, <laughs> People at close tables get nervous. They move away. They start going... Check, please. We need to leave. I don't think somebody at the next table is going to make it out of here. So <laughs> we want to get out before the get cops get here. I love being a writer. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing. That's so funny. I can just pitch them doing it. We're going to have to do that in MobyCon. We're going to have to <laughs> take all the writers out to dinner and see oh, what happens. It's, it's, oh, the conversation. Well, you know. All right, now, just how, how much damage does a four-pound sword do when you whack somebody in the back of the head? See, that's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, tell us something about you that most people don't know. Just, you know. Something about me. I think they know everything about me. That's the problem. <laughs> My problem is staying off of YouTube. You know, I go home on Monday from cons. I don't check Facebook to see, you know, what my friends have been up to. I check to see what I was up to. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> there are a lot of photographs that need some explaining. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I teach stage combat classes. So awesome. sometimes stage there combat. is there's a picture of me with a young lady either getting slapped or slapping. And, you know, you usually get the caption like, I think Bobby Sue needs anger management. And you're like, oh, no. <laughs> this was a stage combat class. This was not. The, the, no, I didn't really get hit, you know. So, so well, yeah, well, welcome to Monday morning after a That's awesome. <laughs> so, I know you go around and you help a lot of the young authors kind of get their feet wet and stuff. So, I mean, what got you into helping, helping out the other guys? Of uh, my experience getting in. Uh, far longer ago than I'm going to confess. Um, you, you get, you start trying to get into this business, and you discover that it is fairly complex. There are a lot of people that are willing to take your money, tell you whatever it is they need to tell you to take your money, and you just, and you still don't really have what you wanted at the end of it. And there's a lot of tricks to this. It's like being in the movies, or being a singer, or be, you know, being a writer, anything, being creative. Once you kind of learn the ropes. It gets a lot more fun because now you're not wasting your time, you're not wasting your money, you're not wasting your resources, you're actually working towards a goal and whether you get published in New York and ever get rich and fabulous, it becomes much more enjoyable when you understand the business and helping new writers out, giving them a little advice, telling them you can do this, 
you, you really can. Everybody was a new writer. Stephen King was a brand new writer at one point. Stephanie Meyer was a new writer at some point. Everybody wrote that first story. And there is no bigger thrill in this world, if you want to be a writer, than finally seeing your work on paper in somebody's hand. It's awesome. I think everybody that wants to be a writer should have that experience. That's great. So you thought you'd just share all of what you learned with the other guys so they didn't have to fight so hard to get there. Yeah, they're still going to have to hard fight. It's not easy, but it's a lot easier if somebody Shoot. tells you how not to shoot your pinky toe off. Gotcha. Yeah. No self-destructing. So you know, it's really easy to do. Um, and whether you're an artist, whether you're a writer, whether you're a musician, whether you're an actor, there's so many little mistakes you can make early on that will just keep the doors closed. Gotcha. And when somebody finally goes, no, 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 that's the wall, this is the door, and they open it up for you, it, it's it's a whole new world you can go play in and have fun. And, awesome. Uh, if everything lines up just right, you might be a published author. That's so, pretty cool. I never promise anybody they're ever going to make it, but I tell you, we can definitely help you get better. There you go. So. Sometimes it's all somebody needs is just a little help. It does. It does. I think we're about to be a bubble shop. <laughs> Uh-oh. We have bubble guns. Bubble guns are coming out, guys. We better run. Um, thank oh, you, there Alan. There we go. <laughs> I feel so sparkly. Yeah. <laughs> What else do you want to leave our viewers with? Oh, you should definitely come to MobyCon. Come, come play, come party. I guarantee it's worth the trip. And the food's really good. Yeah, we love to eat. I, uh, yeah, food is For good. the south, come on now. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alice. <laughs>